Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for April 11, 2024, featuring a beautiful Moon Pleiades conjunction after sunset. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, Sunrise occurs at 6.18 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 7.27 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, Saturn and Mars are in the east-southeast before sunrise. While they mix in with the hues in the pre-dawn sky, the planet pair is low in the east-southeast at 45 minutes before sunup. Mars is 0.6 degrees to the upper left of Saturn. Mars is marching eastward against the starry background that is not easily seen at this level of twilight. It rises one minute earlier compared to sunrise every two to three days. In comparison, Saturn rises two minutes earlier each morning. Saturn climbs into a darker pre-dawn sky, while Mars seems to maintain low altitude until later next month. Venus is heading toward a conjunction with the Sun during early June. Rising 25 minutes before the sun, Earth's twin planet is immersed in bright sunlight. In the evening sky, Jupiter and the crescent moon are in the western sky after sundown. At one hour after sunset, the evening moon, 14% illuminated, is 30 degrees up in the west. That's one third of the way from the horizon to overhead. The lunar orb is 6.2 degrees to the upper left of the Pleiades star cluster and nearly 10 degrees to the right of Aldebaran, Taurus' brightest star. This is the last evening crescent moon Pleiades conjunction of the year. The conjunction cycle resumes before sunrise on July 2nd. A crescent moon near the Pleiades star cluster is a stunning sight. The crescent shows Earth shine, reflected sunlight from Earth's features that softly lights up the lunar night between the moon's cusps or horns. This effect is highlighted through a binocular. Place the moon toward the upper left edge of the binocular field. The Pleiades star cluster appears to the lower right. To the unaided eye, six or seven stars are visible. Through the binocular a few dozen stars are seen. Notice that the cluster appears larger than the moon. The cluster is too large to fit into a telescope eyepiece and is best viewed in a dark location or through a binocular. While using the binocular, look for the Hyades star cluster, to the moon's left. With Aldebaran, the star cluster makes a letter V, forming the bull's head. Locate Jupiter through the binocular and place the Jovian giant at the center of the field. Spot up to four of Jupiter's largest moons. They resemble stars near the planet. Use the chart in the online article to identify the stars in the same region with planet Uranus. Planet Uranus is near Jupiter, to its upper left. The planet is brighter than 53 Aries and 54 Aries, but dimmer than Delta Aries. Jupiter is overtaking Uranus, passing by on the 20th, but the planet pair is low in the west-northwest after sunset on conjunction evening. This evening Jupiter sets nearly two hours, 20 minutes after the sun. The moon follows nearly two hours later. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.